Okay, this is the Pro Laser 3 that we're demonstrating today on Highway 245 in Bullock County, Kentucky. Uh, as you can see, we're positioned where we can sh shoot cars going directly away or directly toward the laser, which is the position you need to be in. I'm not using uh, anything to support uh, like a tripod or anything which would increase the distance of this laser But I had uh, just for demonstration purposes. We probably won't be shooting any more than a few thousand feet As you can see this with the Pro Laser 3, we can turn the power on here by pressing and holding that till it comes on. It'll go through a self-test and shows pass, checks some passed, shows the units it's in. And so everything passed and we're in a position now where we can read speed and range of a, of a, of a vehicle. I'm just going to show this here where you can see them. I'm locked onto the back of that semi, as you can see. And at any given time, it's going to show us the speed of the vehicle with a minus if it's going away or a plus if it's coming towards you. And there's the range at which we locked him in at 750 feet, 755 feet. Now on the laser, I can press the test button at any time and it'll go through a self test, as you can see. And also I can hit a menu if I want to. And there I can set my distance limits if I want to shoot only cars coming toward, cars going away, or all cars with direction. Weather mode, which shoots through fog and rain a better. And, uh, and a couple of other tests that you can do, which you can read the manual. Uh, but for the purposes of this demonstration, we're just showing the basic operation of the laser. So I'm going to hit the escape button to get out of that. Now I'm back where I can get this car here. Let's see if I can get him. Okay, there we go. So that's... There's a semi here. That's the white car there. It's a little bit hard for me to hold it on that without a tripod. We suggest using like an open window or standing in the door and resting the laser on a door jam, similar to the way you would if you were actually shooting with a rifle because this laser is actually pointing a dot out there like a laser pointer on that vehicle. So if it's moving around with just any hand movement at all, you're not gonna hold it steady enough to catch any one vehicle. The advantage of the laser though is that we can pick one car out of an entire batch of cars and clock that speed of that one car without any fear that we're actually measuring the car behind them or alongside of them or whatever. So it is does hold up in court a lot better and the laser is a lot better to use. The laser is a lot better to use if you got heavy traffic like we have on this road. So I can shoot that white van at 47, but know that I didn't shoot the cars that are directly behind him.